Hi, welcome back in the kitchen with Trevor again. New Hanover County Fire and Rescue Station 18. We are doing our spring bounty today. We have taken a tip from one of the other uh, companies in the department. Uh, this was one of their favorite dishes. We're gonna do a twist on it. So it's a cookie sheet, chicken thighs, and vegetables. So we got the bounty from the garden. We've got our squash, zucchini, a couple of onions, garlic as always, some peppers, sweet potatoes, broccoli, and we're gonna add some mushrooms. Our uh, favorite seasoning, simple seasoning, salt, pepper, uh, maybe a little garlic powder. We got our olive oil uh, to keep everything uh, cooking fresh and delicious. And uh, today's protein is the chicken thighs. So we're gonna prep all this stuff, get everything sliced up the way we want to. Um, and then we're gonna bake it in the cookie sheet in the oven. Uh, maybe some other uh, little spices here, see what we can find in the cabinet. And we'll go from there. It's a simple uh, dish, but as you notice that the bounty of vegetables is equal to or greater than your protein. So that's what we wanna lean on is a little more vegetables available to your dish than just simply the protein. And we have uh, no carbs, if anything, it's just a sweet potato. So that's a better choice than regular potato. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, we'll check back in with you as we're prepping, discuss a few more uh, tricks and tips uh, to get this dish made, but it is super simple. The Most of the time you're gonna be spent is chopping your vegetables. So uh, for your safety precaution, just be careful with your knives and uh, set your timers once we get it cooking. So, all right, we'll be back in just a little bit and I'll show you how we get this thing put together. Okay, so we're in the middle of getting our vegetables prepped. Uh, we trimmed a little bit of fat off of the chicken thighs and we're cubing or largely slicing the vegetables. Uh, they're gonna share a plate or share a pan. And uh, once we get them all diced up, we're gonna dress them with the olive oil, salt and pepper, at least to begin with. Like I said, we might raid the, the cabinet back here and find something else that might go interesting with that. Um, I've already got the mushrooms sliced up. Everything's been washed. You definitely wanna wash your vegetables. Get in the habit of doing that. Um, using fresh vegetables versus frozen uh, when you can. And uh, you could certainly use Brussels sprouts instead of broccoli. Um, any vegetables that you like and try some new stuff from time to time just to see how you like the flavor. If you're just picking one and putting it in a pan with other vegetables that you know that you do like, then that's a good way to try it out. That way you're not relying on just that one vegetable to be your vegetable side for that entree or for that dinner for that evening. We're uh, having the garlic peeled. We're gonna expose that and smash it. We're not gonna dice it. We're gonna throw that in the mix. So uh, a full clove of garlic or multiple cloves of garlic on each pan. And we'll check back in when you once we get these things all sliced up, however you slice it, uh, is up to you, but bigger, larger hunks will be good for this application. So uh, we'll check back with you in just a few minutes. All right, so we've got our chunks of vegetables all prepped and ready, and we're adding the garlic. Uh, it's a little time consuming to peel everything, uh, but we've got all the uh, cloves peeled. So what we're gonna do is just take the broad side of your butcher knife and just give it a little pop like that. Uh, we're not gonna chop it up, we're gonna leave it exposed. So what happens is it breaks the, the the vegetable open or the fruit open on the the garlic i guess technically it's in the onion family so if you pop it open it'll let the juices out it'll roast nicely um and let the flavor out because now it's been exposed to the inside of it um but you're not having to chop it all up so there's saves a little bit of time but you're gonna get the full flavor of that garlic and it roasts nicely and then when you find a random piece in the mix you're gonna get a little surprise and a blast of that garlic flavor which is really good and you can still add granulated uh, garlic if you prefer with the salt and the pepper you know the trifecta is really good base to start with most any simple meal like this and also another thing is with all these vegetables that we've chopped up you're gonna have uh, pieces of stem and the ends of vegetables and some skin and all the little trimmings and everything, go ahead and save that. Cause that, look at that right there. That's, that is gonna add a lot to if you start a compost pile. If you have a vegetable garden, which all of these things can be grown in a spring vegetable garden, really simply, even for, you know, those of you that don't have a green thumb. And uh, so why don't you try that this spring, next spring, get your little vegetable garden going, save, your trimmings start you a compost heap and then you can fertilize all of your plants 
with that and then you're recycling and reusing and repurposing. So give that a try. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and dress these things and then get it laid all out on the pan. We've been preheating the oven. 350 is what we're gonna go at. When we get ready to pull this out, we'll check the temperature of our meat with a thermometer and we'll be good to go. So we'll see you back in just a minute. Okay, so we've got everything prepped up. As you can see, it's a lovely display. We've got a uh, equal amount of protein in there. So the chicken is uh, flat on the sheet pan and then the vegetables, which have been coated in the olive oil and our seasoning, salt and pepper. We went with some uh, Italian seasoning, which was uh, what was inspired by the other company across town. Um, so uh, I'm gonna sign off on this as a member of the performance wellness team as this is a healthy choice if you guys wanna have your protein. Start with some lean protein and get heavy on the veggie. Get heavy on the veggie, okay? So uh, we're gonna pop this in, 350. We're gonna come and check it and make sure that temperature is just right and these things and all these um, flavors mix together really well and uh, we'll check back when we're pretty much done. It didn't take that long. This whole meal is gonna feed six guys about $5 a piece. So uh, it's relatively easy on the pocketbook as well. So um, give it a try. We'll see how it turns out. Be right back. All right, so what we did, we started at 350. And it turns out that was not warm enough. I was trying to keep it within about a half an hour cook range. So we bumped up the heat um, after about 10, 15 minutes to 400. So somewhere between 400, 425 is where you're gonna be at with this volume of food in one oven. So this is what we got. The chicken's done. We didn't have a thermometer, but we visually checked it. Everything looks good. It smells amazing as everybody has agreed. You can see it's beautiful. So like someone said here just recently, you eat with your eyes before you eat with your mouth. So um, presentation is a lot of that. Uh, we had discussed maybe adding some grape tomatoes could be another thing you could throw in there. Um, so please spend some time in the produce section and look around and try some things. Like I said, it's good to do this in a variety like this. So if you're trying a new vegetable, like the sweet potato you haven't tried before, just cut one up and put it in here with the rest of the things that you do know that you do enjoy. And that way you don't have to rely on that one vegetable to carry the load here. So we got a lot of stars, a lot of winners, a lot of champions, and uh, we're going to feed six guys tonight. So on behalf of the Performance Wellness Team, New Hanover County Fire Rescue, stay safe, be healthy. We'll see you next time.